Hey, Creative Weirdos. Today, we're going to look at a cool new show that I got into, and it's kind of a continuation of a character that is already existed in the DC comic universe, which is the Penguin or Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot. The character was redone by Matt Reeves in the 2022 film The Batman with uh, Robert Pattinson, and the character was played by honestly one of my newer favorite actors because he's been in a lot of things that i love with um yours lanthimos and the lobster and killing of a sacred deer yeah. colin farrell plays the penguin and the fact that they took this character from that film and they gave him his own series honestly was odd at first but then i realized he brought something new to this character and unrecognizable but amazing amazing acting so there's this one scene in the first act of the pilot where oswald or colin farrell is talking about his want and he's kind of hesitant about it and it's very sincere and that's why i fell in love with the show because it gave this depth to this character that I never really cared for, even in comics and things like that, or old films of the Penguin with Danny DeVito and everything like that. It was this sincere moment that was just amazing. And you wanted to know more because he wasn't just two dimensional. He just wasn't, you know, this gangster stereotypical, you know, caricature that you would typically see. There are different kinds of power. When I was a kid, I was a gangster, real old school type, Rex Calabresi. He was a big deal, you know, at least in my neighborhood. He helped people. You know, someone in your family was sick, you'd find you a doctor, short on rent, front you the cash. You know everyone's names, too. He kept them all in his head, but if he saw you on the street, he'd call out to you, ask how you were. Felt like you meant it too. <laughs> when I'm 14 or something, he has a heart attack and dies. Still holding a cigar. In my neighborhood, they throw a parade in his honor. A friggin' parade. It wasn't fancy, but it was a gesture to show a love of what he meant. Can you imagine to be remembered like that, revered? What is this? You want me to be like some small time asshole? No, that ain't what. For what? Would that make it easier for you to take what's mine? Or is this you? What you want? No. <laughs> Holy shit, it is. <laughs> this is your dream. <laughs> it's so sweet, though. It's so pathetic. You really think people and make a float of your dumb face and march it down the street chanting your goddamn name? <laughs> oh, oh, Oswald Cobb. Remember him? What a guy. <laughs> what a little bitch. So when we look at it, Oswald longs to be respected and gain power and go beyond this like caricature of the penguin, which is kind of dismissive because his deformity and in the show, the way they do deformity is not as obvious as, you know, very campy or too grotesque in a certain way. But the way he walks, it's like this developed character is really good. 
So when you look at characters' wants and their lies, and the lies always form the want, well, it's the external want in the beginning. And his lie is essentially, he believes he's stuck in Gotham's rigid crime hierarchy, bound to play by others' rules. Deep down, he thinks he may never outrank the power figures like the Falcons, which hold him back and, you know, pursuing dominance. It's this whole thing. The nice thing about this moment is when Oswald is talking about this old gangster he saw growing up. And yes, he was tough. Yes, he was strong. But he cared enough about people that people respected him. It wasn't just a disconnect from the community. There's this level of give and go carrot and stick that he respected to the point where when the gangster died, he was given a parade because he touched a lot of people's lives as much as he was a bad guy it was this kind of muddied watered gray area of a character so he respected that and you can see oswald kind of wants to inspire to that and as a character introduction into this character that we saw in the film but we explore now in a larger way i actually liked what they did it was solid and amazing so this aspect is very endearing to him and as an actor it's amazing so when falcon's son belittles him and makes fun of him it just gets to him and because you're drawn in you see a bit of humanity in oswald in this character and you want to see more of him and he his dream kind of gets shut down and when he goes off and shoots falcon's son spoilers obviously it's like, he's like happy, he's like, fuck this guy. And then he's like, oh fuck, now I gotta clean this up because he's not at the high, he's not at the highest level of these crime syndicates. And now you're on this journey of he has to pursue this goal. And usually pilots are, if you break down a series, the pilot is within the first act of the, you know, the whole season. The second episode will also still be the second half of the first act. As fucked up he is, you love his character. So coming back to your scripts or story structures in your first acts, that is like an amazing introduction to a character's external want and what they believe and all these other aspects about them that endears you to them. Like in previous videos that I talked about, a good character introduction and you want people to feel for them in some way they don't have to be good per se there could be you know shades of gray and in this case you know oswald is not perfect and that's why you kind of love him and you're rooting for a bad guy but up against bigger and more fucked up bad guys so being charismatic and there's little moments of like humanity flaws and potential for growth that is what you want in a character these potentials for growth they don't have to be perfect they don't have to say all the right things but this version or this extended version of colin farrell's you know the penguin is fucking solid and i could see why he also wanted to executive produce this and do all these things he he felt for this character he saw what this version of the penguin can be compared to all the campy you know comic book renditions of the penguin which is just the visual penguin the only representation of the penguin and this is the wobble and that's more of a physical deformity they kind of did that in the old film but in the old like um tim burton but it wasn't as emotional as this because it's so quick so honest and so good in the in the pilot the pilot is solid so till next time peace weirdos if you haven't already subscribed hit the bell notification for more creative and educational content every week or if you need help with your upcoming film or story projects check out our website and our new guided story structure notebooks that help make plotting your scripts and stories a breeze